Hello, welcome back to MED Friday Tech, and today we've got cylinder heads, and I wanted to ask Steve about cooling, but just in relation to the cylinder heads. We won't go too in-depth with this because obviously we can go round and round and round and round the houses. So we'll just look at a basic water cooling system okay. and how it works. So okay. we're going to ignore all the, all the block and ra radiator for yep. this one. Let's just look at the head and the thermostat That's then. Okay. So basically, your cooling system will start with the water coming from the rad into the water pump. Now there's two types of water pump, as you'll see here. One's got a bypass hose. One hasn't. There's the bypass hose. That one hasn't. Okay. If you've got that type, but you want that type, you can drill and tap it, put a plug in. Okay. It's no problem. So, two types. These have both got the large impeller, which is what we use on all the race engines. Yeah. So, two pumps. Okay. So, water comes in. It's driven there by the impeller down through the engine block. Below this. Which is underneath. Yeah. From the engine block, then the water will come up through the holes in the engine block, through the gasket, into these holes here. Sorry, where are we? That one, two, three, four, five, yep. and eight along the front. So 13 holes into the head. Okay. As it comes up into the head then, it will traverse along towards the thermostat hole, out of the thermostat, back into the top of the rad. Via? Via. Thermostat housing? Thermostat housing. I said, aftermarket one but the standard ones are a similar dimension yeah, very similar. to that yeah so let's talk about thermostats then what's the standard you've got a standard thermostat there's there. a standard thermostat that little baby sits in just there yeah and what that does is once the water in the engine reaches the same temperature as designated on the thermostat the thermostat opens and allows the water to come out so basically now the water in your engine is up to temperature yeah thermostat opens the water now goes through the rad, cools down, comes through the engine, and circulates at the thermostat temperature. Okay, got it. So what happens when it's shut? When it's shut, like so, you've got basically a sealed cylinder head. Apart from, on road heads, mini road heads this is, you'll see it has a tube on the bottom of the cylinder head. Okay. That is normally just here. Yeah. Okay. The water pump sits below it. And what happens is, as the water is coming along here, hoping to get out of the thermostat, it can't because it's closed. Okay. So what there is, is this, which operates as a valve. Or a bypass. A bypass. It yeah. bypasses the thermostat and drops the water back into the water pump okay. to transfer around. Until the thermostat gets hot, then it opens. Presumably to, to stop the whole thing exploding. I mean, if, if the pump was- Otherwise with more and more and more and more pressure. Yeah. Head gas would blow, water would be everywhere, pump, engine problem. On this nice, sexy eight port that we've got here, it doesn't okay. have a bypass. So what do you do then? <laughs> Big problem if it's a road engine, apart from using this. What's that? This is what we call a blanking sleeve. So, thermostat comes out, blanking sleeve drops in. What that does, it actually stops the water surging out of that hole yeah. very quickly. Okay. If you leave it open, the water literally rushes and gushes out of there. It doesn't cool properly. So you need to slow it down a little bit to it's make it... It's what they call a blanking sleeve. It blanks the water off from coming out of the hole too quick. Okay. So now you've not got the problem of the thermostat being closed because it's always open. Yeah. So you don't need the bypass hose. So this is on a race car setup. Race car. You can do this on a road car. Yeah. But the downside to this is the engine never gets hot very quickly because the water is constantly moving even before it's up to temperature. Okay. So it takes a long while to get hot. What I have seen people do before is drill the thermostat. So if you take a head off a Metro, for example, that doesn't have a bypass hose, so you can do that, that's you okay? You can do that, yes. What you've got to be careful of here is, when you drill it, there's a rib. So don't drill very close to the outside edge. Three sixteenths of an inch, perhaps six or eight holes around there. That will do a similar job to this, but not as effective. Okay. So that's the answer on a road car then? Mm, 
I'd sooner see this than that drilled. Right, okay. Well, there you go. And then the other end of the head, obviously we've got an opening just over just here. Just here. This is normally, which is, let's just spin this one over. Oops, this has got a broken stud in it. Oops. Okay, so this is where this normally sits. And that goes? That goes back down through the bulkhead to the heater matrix. Yep. So hot water is coming from there prior to it getting to the thermostat, heats the matrix up, and then back into the bottom hose before it goes to the pump. So if you've got the lower hose with the takeoff on it, then it goes, goes back into the hose? It goes back into the hose, yes. So it's like an extra radiator then? The heater matrix is basically a radiator, does two functions. One, it can cool the engine. Two, it can keep you warm in the car. Got it. So on a race car, you wouldn't have that. So you take that away and you'd replace it with, oops, the, the little blank. blanking plate. That comes with two little screws, which are just there. There and there. Yeah. So that blanks it off. Yeah. And that's the best setup for a race car, do you think? Blanket. So one of those. Yep. One of those. And you've got two different types of thermostat housing there. What's <laughs> the difference? Okay. This is an aftermarket standard one, which will work a la there. Okay. Top hose goes down, down into the top of the radiator. Yep. This is off of a Metro, which had the double stack. But we do use these on the race cars when we're using a front mounted rad and electric water pump. So this one fits on that away round. Yep. And then the pipe work goes back down and around down to the front rad. Then you've got a little takeoff there to let all the air bubbles out. Stop that getting goes up air leak. to yeah. the uh, header tank. Header tank like yeah. Button. Awesome. So that's a brief overview of cylinder head cooling and a few different options for you.